so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. So here we go, round one, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson. I remember after Tony Ferguson beat Edson Barboza. That's the first time they tried to put this fight together more than five years ago. They have locked the door behind them. It's going to be a fantastic fight. You have two of the most skilled fighters in the division, but also two of the nastiest, most dominant physical fighters lightweight has ever seen. Who's going to leave this arena with their hand raised in the bragging rights? Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Close guard. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Gotta be careful here. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. That's a big strike right there. Oh, another dynamic strike there from Tony Ferguson, former football player, baseball player, collegiate wrestler. Great dancer, too, by the way, DC. This is a man who is truly a plus athlete who can do it all. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Nice kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice combination of knees and the clinch here by Tony Ferguson. Great timing on that double leg. Pretty good execution on that early takedown. Everybody in this arena knew that he wanted to get the early takedown, and opponent couldn't stop it. Sometimes you're so good at something, it doesn't... Nermago Medov's going for a choke. It's tight. defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, feet on the hips here. El Kukui gets back up here. Oh, nice. Body kick lands. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands. Arm bar. Now he's in trouble. Oh, he gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Ferguson's got the full mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. El Cuckoo is right back to the full mount. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Big ground and pound. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nurmago Medov gets back up again. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, but even Nurmago Medov is. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands off. Immediately gets the underhook. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Another big takedown. Well, 
Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, landed on his back. Again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. So come on, do something different. Press punch. Do one of the special moves. I mean, Jesus, take down that takedown. Nurmago Medov's in half guard, changing the position. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Ferguson. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, oh. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? Oh, oh, oh. One of the best rounds of the year. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop. But yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Scramble, scramble. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Now he's going full mount. Ferguson's back in full guard now. Our rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pass. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Oh, big elbow. Big knee land. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Him out here. He's working on the arm bar. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Under three to go round two. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All about volume and pace from Tony Ferguson here early, DC. We talk about the stories of him training for six hours without a break. This guy can go all night. Good fight here, under two to go. Pretty strong jab there by Nurmago Medov. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing 
big shots to the body. Actually, right, so there it is again. Rinse, repeat, another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. It's exactly what he is doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Nermago Meta. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Looks like the cut man to my... Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice jab by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, lead elbow lands there for Tony Ferguson. And DC, if this is not the most exciting fighter in the last he is certainly on the short list. Put it all together as usual tonight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nermago Meta. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, side control now. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. All right, looks like that Darce is tight. Oh, great submission defense. What a round. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Double jab there by Ferguson. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Nice shot there by the champ. Back and forth we go. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Nurmago Medov gets in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. All right, half guard position. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Khabib's in half goal. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Collar tie here in the clinch. Straight punch there again, been there all night. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice work to get the takedown there. Good entry by Nermago Medov. 
Obviously, if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here, all right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Yep, got to be very careful there. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. He does everything so... Oh, he's got his back. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Nermagomedov. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, single collar tie now. What does he need to do to improve? Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. That guillotine is tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. He mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Swing and a miss by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Inside leg kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. It's huge damage from that elbow. Ferguson gets in the clinch. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. In the half guard. Nermago Medov's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man. Look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground. I like the grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that Ready round. Fight. It's like we're watching Ready. the NCAA wrestling it. tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him. If he constantly goes up and down, up and down, he's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of 
If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Ferguson. Oh, right into Mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Ferguson's back in full mount. That was a slick transition. Hermago Medov's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Well, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Couple times there up top. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Start those Start those Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. And there you go, again, half guard. Nurmago Medov's trying for a submission here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, he got to his spot. Come on, come on now. You got to get it back in your box. Attacking armbar. Oh, it's tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Another ground and pound strike gets home. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. El Cuckoo, he's in half goal. Great work here from the bottom fighter. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Khabib's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly. Raining down punches here. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, sit down. Deep breath. Okay. We are down in this fight. This is the last round. Everything you have goes now, okay? You fight every takedown. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was indeed, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we on. have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit, right? No lack of effort, but a oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medoff. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Both guys appeared to land there. Gets to the single collar tie. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Mm, nice. Oh, Kimura attack. Yep. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Ferguson. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Ferguson's in half guard now. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, and he takes him down again. What do they say if it's not broken? Don't fix it. Don't fix it, and it has not been broken. How will the opponent change this? Does he have the ability to change this? To this point, it does not look like it's so. Side control now. Hit that good wrist control now. Nermago Medov's back in side control. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. In the half guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Now he's going full mount. Nermako Madoff's going for the sub here. It's, it's tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the feet. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here. To oh, he's attacking choke now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head in the clinch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Another big thing. Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still! The undisputed UFC heavyweight champion.
champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Hermano Mella. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes.